All right, guys, we're back at the big dump. Here with Scott and Mike. We're getting in. It's a hurricane day here, so uh, nice and cool. But uh, just yeah, a little bit of rain, some breeze, nothing too bad. And I already got first, the second of the day actually. Scott pulled a, a Newport Med. This is a Geralor scare size with the lip chip. Oh right, guys, we're hitting lots of big chunks of metal. Good stuff, but uh, usually when you pull those out, you find bottles behind it. Holy cow! How on earth is that? <laughs> it's like a <laughs> artillery shell. <laughs> it might be. Oh wow. My God. Okay. That well. Thing is heavy. Off we go. All right, we're getting down to the water here, and uh, just put a double, double pull out here. Kikapu oil and Kikapu cough here. I literally came out in the same swipe my my rake. This like, cough here is actually a pretty scarce one. That's really nice. I like it. All right. We're on it now. All right, first farm way of the day. Very nice. Stamp isn't great, but still, always have to find those. We're, when we, we're digging in, both of us are digging in, and once we get in far enough, then we're going down into the mud. You know what, if we dig down the mud first, then all the dirt that comes down from the top becomes mud, and it's really hard to dig, so let's clear that a little bit. It makes it easier for us. All right, on we go. I got a friend just dug this cobalt Laura, the large size. And unfortunately, I think the shovel found it first. You can see a scrape, and then it might have, might have taken the lip out. Maybe it's already, it was already broken. I can't tell yet. I'll clean it up. But I see a scrape from the shovel just below that chip. So it might have been mint, but still, the body's intact. That's an amazing find either way. Nice. That's what we're looking for. The pile here, I can see I found uh, Charles M. Cole right there. A uh, Sweeney with a lip chip that Scott dug. Cool little uh, mustard jar. And some of the more usual suspects. Broken stuff, melted things. All right, we're in the soup right now. Let's keep going. All right, well, my friend just moved. In time for me to enjoy a huge collapse. But it didn't cover a few things. I just pulled out of the hole this guy right here. And it says just mason jar, which I think that's pretty cool. I think that's actually a, a fairly scarce bottle um, to just say mason jar on it. So that's really cool. Nice. Take that all day. And uh, yeah, shoving this out is going to be a beer, but we're finding good stuff, so we'll press on. Okay, right inside. I know what that is. Green capers bottle. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> Shucks, that would have been a nice piece. I'll probably still take that for my friend. He does uh, he does stuff with broken colored bottles, and that'll be a nice addition to his artwork. Bummer though, it's like it looks so good from the bottom. Oh well. All right, guys. I thought I had a uh, cobalt Newport Med, but next best thing is a cobalt poison. You can see the uh, ridges on it. Ugh. Yeah, there she is, John Wyeth, with the ridges, rigid size. Very nice. I haven't dug many of those. Beauty, it washed up. All right, you can see a little better now. Look at those hobnails. That's nice. Not not really weird, but still a good-looking bottle. I probably won't, I don't know if I want to sell that one. I got one at home. I actually just like it, but it's um, machine-made, so it's a nice pair. All right, there we go. Hey guys, I got a jug, and it just moved. Forward truth. It's whole. It's all there. Uh, oh, it's got a stamp. Is it stamped? Newport, Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, D.W. Sheehan. Okay. Nice. I have his jug, uh, his blobs, with the handle. Amazing. Wow, that's the first jug came out of here completely intact with a, with a name. Heck yeah, congratulations. There we go. Right, there you go. Woo. Hold it up. Beauty. Nice. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, it had a big old collapse from wrapping up the day, but what a heartbreak teaser at the end. You can't see in there really, but there's all these cobalt tops, cobalt bases. And we're talking a whole pile up here. Uh, yeah, making some of there. 
I finally got a piece that showed what it was. Castle Massey and Company, New York. I don't think it's a Newport version, but uh, I mean, there's dozens of them in here, and they are pulverized. So I'm gonna keep digging, but I think they've been smashed to tears. Bummer. That's a bummer.